Hey guys, welcome to my latest unboxing video. For the past two or three months I've had to put up with a really slow USB drive for my iMac Pro and I have finally decided to go and buy a proper drive to store a, a great deal of files that I use for video and even things like Dropbox which the internal iMac Pro drive can't fit uh, owing to the size. Now, this is a Lacey 2 Big Dock Thunderbolt 3 drive. It is an 8 terabyte. Uh, from the looks of it, it looks like a RAID 1 drive because it's got two bays. So you can see from the box, it says 8 terabytes, 440 megabytes per second, assuming that's if you put the RAID in a striped mode, 7200 RPM drives, Enterpla Enterprise, excuse me, <laughs> Enterprise class drives. Professional RAID storage, dual Thunderbolt, USB 3.1 docking station. There's even a one month um, free Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Although I don't need that because I already have a subscription, but in any case, we'll just take a look at the box. So this is what it looks like. So that's the front part, switch, USB hub, looks like a, looks like USB 3.0 compact flash card slot in the middle and SD card slot on the bottom right. Okay, let's keep going. So the back of the box, uh, various uh, specifications. It's quite detailed. It's, it's got dual Thunderbolt, dual Thunderbolt 3, uh, power switch, power plug, uh, socket thing, Kensington lock, Display, oh, it's got a display port as well and a USB 3.1 port. So it's going to be quite interesting. All right, um, be that as it may, we'll uh, get this thing open. Okay, let's get the sellotape off. So let's remove this. Let's see what's inside the box. All right, it's a bit, it's a bit tough. All right, good. Okay, so this is what is inside the box. Let's just open this up and take a look. So a little warranty card and I think there's a box inside here. Let's just pull this thing out and see if we can... Hang on, we'll just have to empty it out. All right, good. That box aside. Now let's uh, have a look at the unit. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. All right, so there is the Lacey Thunderbolt drive. It's still in the packaging. Well, the plastic wrapping, to be more specific. It's. Oh, it is quite heavy. Wow. So that is the drive. Uh, take a closer look. So there's the front of the drive. And side, see the back. Got the dual Thunderbolt ports, the USB 3.1, the display port, Kensington lock, and the power switch, which is right here. Assuming you can, oh, you can detach them. Look, oh, wow, yeah, you can. Yeah, they, they are detachable. That's great. Oh, wow, yeah. The drives are detachable. Wow, so it's a Seagate. Oh, they put Iron Wolf drives in here, four terabytes. So four times two is eight. So assuming the one on the top is a, a Seagate drive as well. And this is just a big enclosure. I know that these Thunderbolt enclosures are quite expensive. You do pay quite a lot for the enclosure. It's, it's quite a complex uh, device. Four terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf drive and the uh, uh, light on the uh, side of that. Brilliant. Right, now let's see what's inside the white box. 
assuming power cables and things. So let's just open this. So we'll put that just there for a moment. Let's open this. Let's put this. So we'll just move this. All right. So what have we got? Uh, quick install guide. Yeah, the usual stuff. All right. So how do we plug in the Thunderbolt three cable? Uh, just plug it directly to the computer. All right. We've got USB C and USB C to USB A. That's the conventional USB uh, connector. Power supply, of course. The RAID manager. There's a lot of stuff I have to absorb a bit later. Uh, what else have we got? Seagate Rescue, Data Recovery Services. Picture of a dog. <laughs> All right. What else have we got? Adobe Creative Cloud All Apps Plan. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there's a code there, but uh, I better cover that. <laughs> All right. What's this? Limited warranty. Oh, five-year warranty. Yes, you do get a five-year warranty as long as you keep the receipt, which I have to my right, which you can't see in the video. Oh, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this for a while. <laughs> you can't really use this in Hong Kong. Hmm. This one can use. This is the one, the three-prong uh, UK adapter. That's the one we want. Uh, this is the Thunderbolt cable. We know because it clearly has the Thunderbolt symbol on the side. So we need that. Oh, this is, I think this is the plug you use in China, I think. Anyway, let's just keep going, keep moving forward. All right, let's put this aside. Of we got. This is a USB C to USB A cable. Uh, this, what's this one? It's another plug. I think that's, I think that's a USA plug. Uh, anyway, wow, so they give you all these different plugs, all these different cables for different countries. <laughs> that's remarkable. It's very, very rare that I find those kinds of situations where you, you have a box and it's got all the cables. I think there's another, is there another box? Oh, there's another, oh, here, 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 hang on. Oh, right, yes. Right, part of the AC adapter inside the plastic bag. Let's put this box aside. bag off. Let's get the bag off. Okay. Right, so what I need to do is get this, this, and this, and this all plugged up. So just give me one moment. Okay, we are now ready to connect this thing to the iMac. So First thing we have to do is connect the Thunderbolt cable to the drive. So if we turn this around, we'll connect it to it's one of these ports, the left or the right. So we'll connect it to the right one. All right. Second thing, we need to connect the power. So this is already in the iMac and this is already plugged into the mains. So we'll plug that in. And we'll switch it. Oh, there we go. Now it's on. So it's just, just be very careful. I'm not supposed to move a drive when it's spinning around. Great. So that's the drive on. So I'm just checking the manual. There's a Lacey RAID manager. So what do we have to do? It says, use the finder to open your storage device and loads launch start here, Mac. Okay, let's take a look. Well, it is asking me if I want to use the eight terabyte to back up with Time Machine, and I don't want to do that. So let's get out of that. And what, what do we need to do? We need to go to the Finder. And so we go to Lacey and, ah, yeah, there's a thing here that says start here. Ah, yes, that's the one we want. All right, brilliant. 
So that's what we want. Okay, so we'll just sort this out. So just put in my details. Yep, no problem. And that's fine. Yep, okay, that's fine. So it's downloading the RAID manager. Let's open this. That's fine. So we're going to set this thing up. Okay. So we just get through. Yep. Install the RAID manager. Sometimes when you install these new uh, devices, it mentions about the system extension being blocked. It's something with the new Mac OS. So we have to go to security preferences, which is, oh, sorry. It's actually on the other screen. So let's take a look. Uh, yeah, we need to allow, that's fine. Okay, let's go back to the other screen. Next, all right, let's see what's it asking us. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, just now let's get rid of that. Try to click finish, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Right, let's, uh, hang on a moment. Ah, yes, we have to restart. Okay, so we'll, we're gonna restart this thing. So just bear with us for one moment. We've just restarted and we have a Lacey Raid Manager down at the bottom right corner. So let's open this. Let's see. Let's see if we can get just a little closer. All right, let's, okay, that's good. Uh, yep, that's fine. All right, so we have to set up this thing. So it says eight terabytes, no protection. All right, so how can we set this up? So rather than having a striped RAID 0 or a mirrored RAID 1, I'd like to have two separate drives. So I'd like to have the four terabyte drives actually separated from one another. So I think we have to break the array. So if we click manage, Push the, bar push the power button on the back of the device to confirm that you want to delete the array. Okay, so. All right, so it's gonna delete. And just gotta wait for the hard drives to be prepared, as it says. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, here we go. So now we're starting from the very beginning. Uh, it says not readable by this computer, so we're going to initialize it. Yep. Assuming that's what we have to do. All right. Uh, okay. So it should be these two right here. Yep. These two. Could be because that's my other drive. All right, but uh, let's just just have a play with this first. Okay, so I'm going to maybe we don't need this. Maybe we can just format the drives right away. So uh, let's let's see how can we do this. Um, do we have to erase it? I think one of them has to be Mac OS. No, no. Or can we use APFS? I wonder. Well, this one's APFS, so why don't we use, we could use APFS. So we'll say uh, 4TB underscore APFS. And then we'll erase that. 
and the other one will be 4TB. Um, no, we don't want to use that as a backup drive. Okay, it's coming along all right. All right, next part, we want to take this one. I think we want to erase it and I want to make it X fat. So we'll call it um, 4TB underscore EXFAT. Okay. Then erase that. Right. And we'll say don't use. And that's pretty much it. That's, I think that's all we have to do. There we go. We have the 4TB APFS and we have the 4TB XFAT. What I might want to do as well, uh, I want to try and use the uh, disk speed test from Blackmagic just to uh, give it a test. I have no idea what the result's going to be, but let's just have a look. So if we could just hold that there and then let's select the target drive. We're going to use the, we'll use the four terabyte APFS drive and let's run. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, keep in mind, I mean, this is not a striped drive. This is just a standalone drive, but um, it's already quite an improvement compared to the 80 megabytes a second or even 30 megabytes a second that I got with the older drives. So speed wise, not too bad, not too bad. So if I might use a five gigabyte stress and let's try the other one. Brilliant, great. All right, so there you go. That is the Lacey 2 Big Dock Thunderbolt 3 drive. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care and goodbye.